with this time, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, like do like to say shalom to everybody. Shalom. Um, at this time, I'm um, gonna have my wife to come and blow the show far. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Open the song is uh, Ahia exalts his own name. Well, actually, actually we're going to do the other one first. You are the most high, yeah.
She cries at the gates, uh -huh. at the entrance of the city, and coming in at the doors. Unto you, O oh men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Yes. O oh, ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Yes. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things. And the opening of my lips shall be right thing. Yes. For my mouth shall speak truth. Yes. And the wickedness <coughs> is an abomination to my lips. Yes. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. Uh -huh. yes. They are all plain to him that understandeth. And the right to them that knoweth knowledge. Mm -hmm. Receive my instruction and not silver. Yes. And knowledge rather than choice gold. Yes. Uh -huh. For wisdom is better than ruby. Yes, it is. And all things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Yes. yes. I dwell with prudence and kind and find out knowledge and witty invention. Yes. Uh -huh. The fear of the Most High is to hate evil, uh -huh. yes. pride, and arrogance. That's right. The evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Yes. yes. By, the, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. Uh -huh. By me princes rule and nobles. Even all the judge of the earth. Uh -huh. I love them that love me. Mm -hmm. And those that seek me early shall find me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise. Oh, praise. Riches and honor are with me. Yea, doors riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold. Yea, than fine gold. And my reverence than choice silver. Hallelujah. I lead in the way of righteousness. In the midst of the path of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, uh -huh. and I will fill their treasures. Yes. The Most High positioned me in the beginning of His ways, before His works of old. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Some of the scriptures that are very uh, pronounced that we have to really get some understanding on it. Yes. Okay. Um, also, too, that as we go through this, um, I do know that others may, you may have your opinion and you might think of something different, but at the same time, this is something that we, that is, is, that is brought to our attention, you know, um, so it is something that we should not be debatable about. That's right. You know, this what, what we're talking about um, through this series, starting Revelation, is not a salvation issue. Mm -hmm. And we have to understand that you may have your own opinion, and you may have, uh, you want to add something to it, or something you study, you know, or to add to what is being spoken of. But at the same time, this is what he has shown, him, he has shown me, 
you know, maybe show you something different. Mm-hmm. But we try to we try to get we gotta get to the bottom of how things gonna happen during this time. So we as a people we know how to conduct ourselves and where to go and you know and, and, and know everything about his coming when it when when it does happen. Yeah. Okay, so we as we had left off, we went through Revelation chapter one. Um, and we ended it uh, at verse number 20. I think we went through Revelation 1, 12 through 20. And we're going to start at verse number 2. Uh, I, mean, I mean, chapter number 2. And we're going to go through these churches. And I, like I said, um, said on last Shabbat, um, a lot of these churches that we're going to read about, we don't have a lot of information about these churches. Okay. But we can only go by what Hamashiach, Hamashiach has said to the churches. Mm-hmm. That's the most important thing that we have to take note on and realize that all these seven churches that he is talking about, it is dealing with Israel. Yes. Anytime you're talking about the, the candlesticks or the olive tree or the mm-hmm. green olive tree, you know, it's talking about Israel. Yes. Okay, it's not talking about all the other nations. I just want to remind and let everybody know that, you know, this book that we're reading from it is a Hebrew Bible. Yes. Even all the other nations know that. It's, it, it was written uh, written by Hebrews for Hebrews, you know, and to proclaim it to to proclaim it to Hebrews. Yes. So this book that's that's written here in Revelation, it said this book is written to all the seven churches. Yes. Meaning that this book, the uh, Revelation, was not sent out. To every nation. That's right. And we have to understand that. We have to understand every context of every epistle, of every letter. You gotta you gotta address it from the beginning of the letter to understand who this letter is addressed to. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's something that we uh misunderstand a lot because we are reading and said, Oh, it's talking about me. No, it's not talking about you. Okay, you know, it's talking about Israel. But all the nations are included in the books because of Israel. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if Israel went somewhere, the script will tell you where they're going to go and who's in their land. Mm-hmm. It's going to talk about them. But it's, but but the whole, the basic of the information that's written is talking about Israel. Yes. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people cannot <laughs> really understand it. Just like they would take 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. You know, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Right. Every, every nation is using that same scripture. And, it ain't, they and it's ain't. not talking about them. Yeah. It's talking about Israel. That's right. <laughs> so we have to read things in its proper context. Okay? So let's look at the, the latter part of Revelation chapter 1. And let's start at verse number um, 18 down to verse number 20. Revelation chapter 1, 18 through verse number, tw- number 20. Everybody there? Yes. Verse 18. I am he that liveth and was dead. Excuse me. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Yes. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars, which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, Mm -hmm. and the seven candlesticks, which thou sawest, are the seven churches, or the seven assemblies. Yes. Like I said before, as we go to these churches, these churches are not uh, there the way it is that was spoken in this time. Because of colonization, because of infiltration, and all the other things, and, and, you know, other nations out there, and and a lot of people look at these people as of of modern day, thinking that those are the same people that was there back then. Right, Right. So we have to understand things were different. At that time, but when we read through these these letters um, through the through Hamashiach, 
And what he said to them, it definitely applies to us today. Mm -hmm. And he actually talking to these churches of uh, the hereafter as well. Okay? So let's get started. Let's start at verse um, chapter 2. And let's start at verse number 1. And then to the angel of the church of Ephesus, write, These things said he that hold the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. So what is he doing? He walketh. he walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. So who's doing the walking? Yeshua. Yeshua HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. And that's why the scriptures tell us that he's going to pour out his spirit upon his seed. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're walking in today is the spirit of HaMashiach. Yes. So that means he's walking among us. Yes. yes. Meaning that you, you don't think he's with you, with us. Right. He's walking among us. Just because you can have um, a, a million buildings up. Mm -hmm. That, you know, that don't mean anything. The Bible says he does not dwell in temples that are made by man's hands. That's right. But he dwell where Israel is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Israel is not just a building. Amen. Amen. Israel is a people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So he said he walking among the seven golden candlesticks. Yes. Yeah. So he's among us. He's with us. <clears throat> Why? Because his spirit abides abides inside of us. Mm -hmm. And we got to realize that. Okay. Yes. So a lot of times we used to think, and people still think today that it's all about the building. And it's no, not. It's not. Where, wherever, even if, even if we use that concept, we should understand that, you know, the Most High, which is the angel, appeared before uh, uh, Moses in the burning bush. Yeah. But yeah. what did the angel tell Moses? Take off your shoes because you are on holy ground. Yeah. It had nothing to do with the building. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So it lets you know that wherever he dwells, yeah. that yeah. is holy ground. Yeah. Right? Yes. And when they built up the temple, right? They had to they had to build it up and when everything was done, they had to break it down and they had to move. Yes. Yes. Okay, so that that shows us that wherever he dwells, mm -hmm. we understand he's in the midst of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it has nothing to do with a physical building. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep going. I know thy works and thy labor. And thy patience, and how thou cannot bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And are not. And has found them liars. Yes. Yes. We got to understand all of this we're reading is in red. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he's saying this. Yes, yes. It ain't something we making up or out just off the top of our head. No, he he are speaking these words. Yes, he is. And he said, look at he said, burn them which are evil, for thou hast tried them, which say they are apostles. Mm -hmm. And are not. That's right. And has found them lies. Mm -hmm. He said they are not apostles. No. I did not ordain them to be apostles. That's you can't walk in apostleship and not keep the laws. Mm -hmm. right. You can't say you're an apostle and don't do the same thing that he did. That's right. right. Amen. Because he the one chose the disciples yeah. and the apostles. Yeah. 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 And then at, even after Hamashiach died, he did the same work that the Messiah did. Yeah. Right. Yes, yes. Okay? <laughs> so it said, I have found them liars. You are not an apostle. Yeah. Because you're not doing the real work. That's right. And that's how it is today. So many people are so quick to throw a title yeah. behind their name. Yeah. You know, apostle this and Bishop. this and this. Yeah. And prophet of this. And this and this. Amen. And you're not walking accordingly. That's right. To the scripture. That's right. Amen. Okay. 
and has borne and has patience, and for my name's sake has labored mm -hmm. and have not fainted. Yes. Mm. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. Yes. So it's talking about, um, it's still talking about um, Ephesus. And we went to Ephesians chapter 1. Let's go back there to get the narrative of Ephesians so we know exactly um, who Paul wrote this letter to. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse number 1. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse number 1. And we'll go to the scripture to find out why Hamashiach said that, look, the saints of Ephesus, you have left your first love. Yes. Everybody there? Yes. Ephesians 1 and 1. I, Paul, an apostle of Yeshua Hamashiach by the will of the Most High, to the saints which are at Ephesus. That's right. Mm -hmm. And to the faith to and to and to the faithful in Christ Hamashiach. So he wrote this letter to the saints, the saints which are in Ephesus. Mm -hmm. This is the Ephesus, the church of, 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 of Ephesus. This this is part of the seven golden candlesticks. Mm -hmm. This is talking about Israel. And through it, all, all through the churches, we're going to find out there are key things that Hamashiach said to these churches that we identify them as being Israelites. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back. Revelation chapter 2 and verse number 4. Revelation 2 and 4. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. Because thou hast left thy first love. Mm -hmm. So that's, we're going to go to scripture to find out why, what was he saying. And what did the saints of Ephesus do yes. in order for Hamashiach to say, you know what? You know, this is what I have against you. Right. You left thy first love. Yes. You've got to return back to your first love. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Let's see what they did. Acts chapter 19. Let's go back. This precept is to Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19. Let's start at verse number 24 or 24. <laughs> <laughs> Acts chapter 19 Let's start at verse number 24 Everybody have it? Mm -hmm. It says For a certain man named Demetrius A silversmith Which made silver shrines For Diana Brought no small gain Unto the craftsmen who he called together with the workmen of like occupation and said, Sirs, you, ye know that by this craft we have our wealth. Mm -hmm. Moreover, ye see in here that not, on, not alone at Ephesus, but almost throughout all Asia. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Almost throughout all Asia, this Paul has persuaded and turned away much people, saying that they be no gods which are made with hands. Wow. So that not only this our craft is in danger to be set at naught, but also that the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised. 
and her magnificence should be destroyed, whom all Asia and the world what? Worship. Worship. What did it say? Whom all Asia and the world worship. Wow. Let's keep going. And when they heard these sins, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. Great is the goddess. The, great, great is Diana of the Ephesians. And the whole city was filled with confusion. Mm. And having called Gaius, Gaius and um, Aristarchus, men of Macedonia, Paul's companions in travel, they rushed with one accord into the theater. Mm. And when Paul would have entered in unto the people, the disciples suffered him not. And certain of the chiefs of Asia, which were with were his friends, sent unto him and desired him that he would not um, adventure himself into the theater. So therefore cried one thing, and some another, for the assembly was confused. Mm -hmm. And the more part knew not wherefore they were come together. Mm -hmm. And they drew Alexander out of the multitude, the Jews putting him forward, and Alexander beckoned with the hand and would have made his defense unto the people. But when they knew that he was a Jew, all with one voice about the space of two hours cried out. Mm -mm -mm. This is what they cried. Great is Diana of the Ephesians. Mm, yeah. Verse 35. And when the town clerk had appeased the people, he said, Ye men of Ephesus, what man is there that knoweth not how that the city of Ephesians is a worshiper of, of the great goddess Diana and of the image which fell down from Jupiter. Mm. Okay, let's go back. Revelation 2 and verse number 4. This is what Hamashiach was saying to the saints that was in Ephesus. Revelation 2 and 4. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Yes. Why? Because now you are committing fornication mm -hmm. with another God. That's right. Yes. 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 So this is what this is what I'm saying to the churches and also to us as well. Mm -hmm. And our people don't realize how much fornication that they are they are committing. In a year's time. Mm -hmm. A lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our people are committing a lot of fornication. Mm -hmm. And they think they're serving the only one true. Allah, Allah, Allah. Mm -hmm. In their hearts, that's how they feel. Yeah, that's true. But as, what, throughout the whole year, they're serving multiple gods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Verse 5. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. <laughs> or else, watch this, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and watch what he will do, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Mm -hmm. He yeah. said, I will remove your candlestick stick out of his place. Yeah. No light. No light. Mm. <laughs> wow. Except you repent. Mm -hmm. He's not playing. No, he's not. He said, I'm going to remove the candlestick from you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're just going to be just like everybody else. Mm. Wow. So we can precept this to Matthew 24. Excuse 
excuse me, Matthew 21 and 41. Matthew 21 and 41. Matthew 21, 41, and we're going to go down to verse number 43. Anybody have it? Yes. <clears throat> Matthew 21, and verse number 41. They said unto him, He will immeasurably destroy those wicked men and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen which shall render him the fruits in their season. Let's just keep reading. Yeshua HaMashiach said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected, the same become the head of the corner? This is the most high doing and it is marvelous in, your, in our eyes. Therefore say I unto, unto you, the kingdom of the Most High shall be taken from you. Yeah. And given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. Mm -hmm. Now who he's speaking to? He always speaking to these Pharisees and these Sadducees mm -hmm. and everyone else. Yes. But he's telling them that it's going to come a time mm -hmm. that all of Israel will come and we're going to take over every kingdom. Mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. We're going to read about that as we go through the series. We're going to take over every kingdom. It's only going to be one kingdom of the whole world. Mm -hmm. We're going to take over all of them. Yeah, yeah. All the other nations, they are kingdoms. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That's why you go back to Acts chapter 1 and verse number, I believe it's verse number 9. He said, when will, when will you restore the kingdom of Israel? Yeah. That's the only kingdom has not been restored. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we see that because Israel, Israel kingdom, we are dispersed. Yeah. Yeah. We're not a kingdom because we're not together. You're right. Okay. Wow. He said, but at this time, you know what? Because y'all rejected the builder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The head cornerstone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. He said, you just wait and see. I'm coming and I'm taking over everything. Oh, yeah. Yes. So only the headquarters you're going to know is Israel. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to be no Democrat, <laughs> Republican. That's right. It ain't going to be this and that. No. None of that. We're going to be the head corner mm -hmm. of Hamashiach. If you need something, you got to come through us. Yeah, yes, yes. Praise God. That's right. Praise God. <laughs> That's right. Ain't nothing you want to ask, can you do it or not? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Got to keep the city open. <laughs> what do you know? What do you ask us? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll... <laughs> And I was telling my wife um, last night that even when we get to it through um, Ezekiel, when we, when we get there, talking about the temple, mm. that after everything said and done, the, the scripture says that uh, everybody that's going to be destroyed, the dead bodies, he gonna he gonna he gonna speak to the beasts, the to the animals, the birds, and tell them to go feast on these dead bodies. And after they feast off the dead bodies, then guess what all of Israel is going to do? Mm -hmm. We got to get these bodies and bury all of them. Mm -hmm. And you think you say, wait a minute now. Now, the, the first resurrection, everybody's going to be raised. But at this time, they're going to be buried. But there's no, but that's not going to be another resurrection. That's it. We're going to bury the dead bones. Mm -hmm. In the ground, all of Israel will to cleanse the earth. Mm. And that's all. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he ain't playing. 
Not only are we going to destroy them, he said, you know what? Let's put these bones. Let's really put them to rest. Yeah. And them bones, they're going to stay in the dirt. The yes. dirt. Blame. Right? Yes. You're going to call the birds to feel their stuff. And the birds are going to be like, man, mm. I'm full. Mm. <laughs> I'll wake the Mars. I eat again. Mm. He told them to go and be filled. Then we got to get them and we got to burn the bone. That's deep. That's deep, Pastor. And we can get to that. Oh, yeah. We get to the about close to the end of Ezekiel because this is what's, this what's, this what's going to happen. So many things we never heard before, Pastor. Mm -hmm. God tell you, it has been in our face, but we couldn't see. Mm. I praise the most high, he dropped the scales from my eye. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. Because at that time, you even know it was Jimmy, Tom, and Hank, and everybody else. Because the birds are going to eat all the flesh, and you don't know who they are. You just bury them all. Wow. <laughs> but I'm sure we ain't going to be burning them, you know, and it, 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 it's really not going to take a long time. Because you're talking about all of Israel. Yes. It's a lot of us. We, you, we, you just can't start. We just can't start. By what we see today, we got to go all the way back since then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back in back in the time of Jacob and, and Abraham, Isaac, we got to go all the way back. These are the multitudes that that's actually going to be upon the earth. Mm -hmm. So it ain't going to take that long. Everybody just need a show when that's it. Mm. <laughs> Get the deep put them in there, covered up. Hey, it's a wrap. Mm. He gonna cleanse it. Okay? Because he said, I'm sorry, go ahead. He can do that himself. Why are you doing nothing? Huh? Yeah. Because, because we are the ones, we are the uh, revengers as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Judah's going to be fighting too. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. We put in our enemies, our real enemies to rest. Yeah. <laughs> we put the work in. We put the work in. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The scriptures tell us that. Yes. Okay. So you ain't gonna know who it was. You just burn. Because the army, or which um, uh, army get when we get to that, the army, the Bible says that they are gonna be as the sand of the sea. So much. Have you ever looked outside and seen the army of the sand of the sea? No. Amen. That's the army that are going to come and fight against Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people. Yes. And Israel is going to be as the sand of the sea. And we just think just a remnant, we think that's a small number. No, it's not. Right. It's really a strong, it's, it's a, a, a small number according to all Israel throughout all the years and centuries. Yes. <laughs> he ain't playing. No, he ain't. Okay. So we get to Ezekiel. We're going we to plow through it. We're going to find out. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people think they're going to be with Israel in the temple in the New Jerusalem. No, they're not. Mm -hmm. Because Israel going to have our own land. Yeah. The temple going to be built. Yeah. And the New Jerusalem. That's right. The strain is going to be in the land. And we'll get that's in Ezekiel as well. Mm. They're going to be in the land. Because in the land, it says then they're going to try to grab the coattail of a Jew. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Which is going to be served as a handmaid. Mm. Yes. Mm. They're going to even have their portions in the land because they are served as a handmaid. Right. Like I said, for everything going to go back the way it was in the beginning. That's right. And anybody could not just go up into the temple. And you cannot, no, no one, no, no other nation can go into the temple. Mm -hmm. Even during the time of Paul. That's right. Because the Jews chased Paul down because they thought they brought he brought a Greek into the temple. Yeah, that's right. They can't go into the temple. Because he said the Gentiles, that they are on the outer courts. That's the land. Mm-hmm. 
and you want to trade up on the outer ports for three and a half years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. And then we're going to find out it's going to be two wars against the Saints. Mm -hmm. The first war is going to come against the Saints and the beast, they're going to overcome the Saints and they're going to kill them. Mm -hmm. But then when Satan himself been loosened out of his um, um, uh, abundance for a thousand years, once he released the first thing he want to do, he's going to go and convince other nations with uh, Gog and Magog, and not just Mount, uh, Gog and Magog, but all the other nations. He's going to convince them to team up with them, and they're going to come to Jerusalem to fight against the saints. Wow. That's the first thing once he loses for out of a thousand years. The first thing he want to do is come against the saints. Yes. Uh-huh. He's been smoking in there. Yeah, that's smoking. Yeah. He's ready to get it up. We're going to cover all that. Wow. That's, that's the first thing he want to do. Wow. But the second time he come uh, with this whole army that is, that is as the sand of the sea, fire coming. I oh, know that's yeah. right. And that's when all Israel going to be in Jerusalem. Yes. Yeah. And he's going to try to come up against him. Mm -hmm. I guess how the time like, you know what? I got, I got him before. Do the beast and the false prophets and everything to kill them, to make war with them, and overcame them. He said, you know what? I got, he said, I know how to I'm out now. Been a thousand years. Now I'm out. Now I'm going to do the same thing. No, uh-huh. Nah. Ain't no word. He said, fire going to come and consume all of them. Yes. <laughs> he said they, 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 this army going to be encamped round about Jerusalem yeah. round about Israel mm. and we ain't got to lift a finger mm -hmm. he going to rain far down wipe them all out oh yes wow Okay, let's keep going. Let's start at verse number six. We're gonna get we're gonna get to all that. But this thou hast that thou hated the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Revelation two and six. Yeah, go back to Revelation. Yeah, we're going back and forth. We we back to Revelation chapter two. And verse number six. All right. He said, But this thou hast that thou hated the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Yeah. And we should know about who these people are. We went over this before. But we, we're going to uh, understand right down to where we, we just go ahead and tackle now. Right down to where Nicolaitans. Right down to where Nicolaitans. And the definition for Nicolaitan means destruction of people. They are a destruction of people. And we're going to find out when we keep reading what, what happened uh, of the doctrine of the Nicolaitan. And we got to understand, he, he He's strong concerning his word. Oh, yeah. That's the first commandment. What's the first commandment? That's the words of no other Allah Hayyam. That's right. That's the very first one. Mm -hmm. And you think he pleased with that? No, he didn't find <laughs> it. So now look what's coming up. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, Sunday service, we praise him, I love him, I praise him, and then that come now he's serving another God. He's serving a series. They serve a series now. 
Then that's over. We think, you know, we're in the church. They praise and everybody praising. And then what's coming up after that? Christmas. Here come Christmas. Saturnalia. <laughs> the moves. There they go again. Yep. Then here come New Year's. Then they come in. Then I go yeah. there. You know, yeah. we praise, you know, tell bring everybody, we praise, you know, I love them crying and dancing and shouting and everything. Sure and then here it comes. Then here comes Valentine's Day. Here it comes. Here it comes. God after God after God. He's like, I'm tired of this. Yes. Come out from among them. Yes. Be ye separate. Yes. And our people need to understand this. You better come out now before the strong delusion comes. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. And he'll yes. give you over to a reprobate mind. Yes, yes. he will. Yes, yes. And yes. once he give you over to a reprobate mind, that's it. Mm. You're going to continue to believe the lie. Yes. yes. You're going to continue to do that. Yes. At that point, then he would say, you know what? I'm taking my hands off of you. Yeah. I've tried. I try to speak to you through the word, through my servants, the fellow servants, everybody else. But you still choose to do the same exact thing. Now I'm going to give you over to a reprobate mind. Yeah. And you want to you wanna live the lie? Then you're going to continue to believe the lie. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. Revelations 2 and verse number 7. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's write down the definition. Um, the Nicolaitans. Write down Nicolaitans means destruction of people. It says, who was charged. Excuse me. Who was charged. Withholding the arrow of Balaam. Mm. The arrow of Balaam. The arrow. Okay. Error, e -R -R -O -R. Okay. Who was charged with holding the arrow of Balaam. Mm -hmm. Comma. Casting a stumbling block. It says before the church, or you can write down before the assembly, which one you to choose. A stumbling block before the church of the Most High by upholding, by upholding the liberty of eating. Upholding the liberty of eating things, things sacrificed to idols, a thing of eating things sacrificed to idols, as well as committing fornication. As committing fornication. Because anytime you serve another God, you are committing a fornication. That's right. Cheating on him. Because he said, Israel, I am married to you. That's right. We are the bride. Yeah. We're not the groomsmen. Mm -hmm. We're the bride. Okay? So... We have to understand that this is something our people need to understand. It. Well, I'm just cooking, you know, just for my family. No, well, you can cook for your family anytime. That's right. But you know good well you made that, you're going to make that appointed time for that day. Mm -hmm. with, because of the things you buy for that day. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> we, all, we all got to cook it in. You got that turkey dressing. Yeah, you bring out the turkey, turkey dressing, turkey and cranberry sauce, sweet potato soup, all that. Sweet potato soup, all that. 
song game, the battle right, game. You name it. You name it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Green beans, tomato, all that. <laughs> <laughs> now you know you definitely you know still what, doing it. It. what it's for. That's right, you're still doing it. But we gotta eat it every day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with cooking on that day. Right. Right? But at the same time, it's what you use to identify yeah. why you celebrate that. That's, That's right. right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> you may not say it, but your actions speaking of things. That's right. No turkey, no titties. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no pork on the fork. <laughs> no pork on my fork. That's right. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. <laughs> he started winking. Yes, he is. And when he gets to this point, it's a wrap. Yeah. He said, I'm going to remove your candlestick out of its place. Mm -hmm. And you don't want that to happen. That's right. And at the time, there's not going to be no begging or pleading or nothing. It's a wrap. Okay? Yes. Everybody there? Yes. Um, let's keep going. Verse number, verse 7, right? Yes. Revelation 2 and 7. He that has an ear, he said, let him hear what the Spirit say unto the churches. Yes. He said, if you have an ear to hear, you better listen when I'm telling you. That's right. You better listen. Because if you don't get this, it's going to be your fault. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life. He that do what? Overcome. Overcome. You just gotta do that. You gotta overcome. Then he said, I will give you the tree of life. Mm -hmm. Knowing who you are is not enough. Amen. Right? Yes. Because we all want to eat of the tree of life, but you got to do what it takes by overcoming to get to the tree of That's life. That's right. And let's read. Let's read what's happening in the tree of life. Let's go to, hold your finger here. Let's go to Revelation 22. Let's find out what's going on. And why would you want to be a part of being Israel? Yes. Revelation chapter 22. Revelation 22, <clears throat> and let's look at verse number 2. Everybody here? Everybody yes, there? Yes. I see everybody here. Uh, <laughs> everybody there? Present. present. <laughs> <laughs> okay, verse number 2. In the midst of the street of it, and on the other, uh, on either side of the river, was there the tree of life? Yes. Which bear twelve manner of fruits. There is the number twelve. Mm -hmm. Twelve manner of fruits. And yielded her fruit every month. Mm -hmm. Can y'all imagine it? Mm -hmm. Yielding her fruit every month. Awesome. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Yes. It ain't talking about every nation. Because we're going to be the kingdom of all nations. Yes. When this happens, yes. everything else he already destroyed all the other kingdoms. Mm -hmm. So there's no healing for the other nations. Mm -hmm. Because there's only going to be one nation and one kingdom of this earth. Mm -hmm. And that's Israel. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to go through the precepts, but there's precepts here. You can underline and go back to them later. But it's talking about the tree, the tree of life and um, 12 manners of fruits. Um, let's keep going. It said, verse 3, and there shall be no more curse. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So why are people 
people saying, you know what, as long as we keep the law and stand commandment right now, we're not under a curse. Mm. Uh, that ain't what it's saying. That ain't what it's saying. <laughs> why, are talk, why are people saying that? I don't know. No. He gonna, he gonna tell us when it's He's home. gonna lift the curse. Yeah. He's the only one. <laughs> and there should be no more curse. At this time, he said there's not gonna be no more curse. That's, that's then. We ain't got that yet. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't there. Because if there's if no more curse, then we would be together again as Israel. Yes. But the throne of the Most High and of the Lamb shall be in it. Mm -hmm. And his servants shall serve him. His servants shall serve him. There's a there's your word servants again. Yes, yes. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. foreheads. Mm -hmm. That's another key word you need to underline. They shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. Mm -hmm. When we get to foreheads, you got to find out, well, who are these? Uh -oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's go down. Let's skip down to verse number um, 14. Let's go down to verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have what? Right to the tree of life. But you got to do what? Keep his, do his commandments. <laughs> got to do them. He said do them, not hear them. That's right. He said do them. Don't be a hearer of the law, but what? Do a doer of the law. These command, the word commandments means law too. That's right. These are the patience. This is the patience of saints, those that keep the commandments and the faith of Hamashiach. You gotta do both. You gotta do both. Yeah. That you, if you want to have the right to the tree of life, you got to do the commandments. It's plain and simple. Yes, it is. Why are people make it so long? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed are they that do his, do, his, do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Yes. Now, y'all remember who the dogs were? Uh -huh. Those if the scripture says in uh, Revelation 1 and 7, mm -hmm. he said that every eye shall see them, and also them that also pierced him. Yes. Then we went to Psalms, and Psalms tell us who these dogs were. Mm -hmm. These dogs were the Roman Catholic, yes. which is called Babylon yes. in Revelation. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 15. It's showing you they're not going to be a part of what Israel had. All right now. Look at 15. For without our dogs, all of those that's part of the Roman Catholic system. system. They're on the outside. They're on the outside. They're not part of the temple. They're not part of the New Jerusalem. <laughs> These are these are one. That's without. Yes. <laughs> and the sorcerers, and the whoremongers, then the murderers, and the idolaters, and whosoever loveth that maketh a lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are the ones that are going to be on the outer court. We got to understand New Jerusalem and the temple is going to be like the heaven itself. Mm-hmm. No. No sin cannot enter into no temple no. or the New Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. He is not going to allow it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Verse 
Okay, verse 7, he that, um, Revelation 2 and 7, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit say unto the church. To him that overcome will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of of the paradise of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Now, what did he tell the two thieves? In paradise. In paradise. Mm -hmm. This is what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know, when he told them that, it didn't happen right then. That's right. Because now he's talking about paradise. Yes. You got to overcome. Right. Yes. Okay, let's keep going. Um, write down number two, Smyr um, um, Smyrna. Number two, Smyrna. S N Y R N A, Smyrna. Besides Smyrna, Smyrna means myrrh. M-Y-R-R-H. M-Y-R-R-H. That's G-46-67. Where is Smyrna? It's a trick question. <laughs> it's a trick question. No. Where is Smyrna? Y'all know where it's from. It's a mind. That's the next definition. Right. City of Asia Mind. I'm going to do this um, five more times. <laughs> <laughs> City of Asia Mind, under that right, 40 miles north of Ephesus. 40 miles north of Ephesus. 40 miles away. Because, you know, if you look on the map, if you did the seven churches of Asia Minor, you look on the map or you Google it, mm -hmm. they all close. They, to, on the map, it's like they're really close together. But they're like 40, mile, 40 miles, of, you know, something like that, apart from each other. But they're all on... The part still part of the same same place. Now, what did he say to the Ephesians? The main thing he said. What did they do? Left the first love. They left their first love. love. What did they do? Start worshiping other gods. Worshiping Diana. Diana I've got the god of Diana of the gods. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. He said, you need to stop fornicating. Mm -hmm. When he say he's jealous, you better believe he's jealous. Mm -hmm. Very. Right? Yes. And how would you feel? Exactly. How would you feel if you was in a relationship and you found out that you done slept with mm -hmm. um, throughout the whole year you done slept with Eight or nine. Eight or nine uh, gods. Or that's eight or nine people. people. That's terrible. Uh, how, how would you feel? That would be terrible. You wouldn't feel good. No. That's what our people are doing throughout the year. Oh, yeah. And it's hurting, it's hurting the most high. Yeah. Mm. Our people are doing that throughout the year. Yes. It's grieving him. Yes. It's causing him pain. Mm. Mm-mm. But what, what our people said that, well, that's what he do. I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> well, I'm going to do it and you will ask him to give later. <laughs> yeah. Like, really? That ain't going to solve anything. No. Because it went, even, even today when you see other, when you see married relationships, it's, it is different. Now, a man can go out and have 10 other women, and he think it's fine. Please forgive me, but if a woman do it, oh. like the worst thing that oh, she can yeah. ever do in her life. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah. That's true. It'll kill her. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. Like, look what you were doing. Mm -hmm. 
But when she do it, it's like, oh man, he trying to kill everybody. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay, let's, let's, let's begin. Um, Revelation 2 and 8. And unto the angel of the church of Smyrna, write, these things says the first and the last, which were dead and is alive. Mm -hmm. I know thy works. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. I know thy works. And tribulation. That's another key word you need to identify. I know thy works and I know thy tribulation. Because when we get the revelation, when it's talking about the multitude of the, the tongues and the languages, no, you can't stop from there. You got to keep reading to find out who it's talking about. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says one of the elders asks a question, who are these that are arrayed in white robes? Yeah. And where come they? Mm -hmm. What did he say? Out of great tribulation. Who's going through tribulation? We are. <laughs> Matthew 24 that told you who's going to go through the tribulation. <laughs> he said, I know that works. I even know your tribulation. And I know your poverty. Mm -hmm. Who do you think it's all about? It's us. What people on this earth today that are ascribed in this verse? That's right. A worldwide. <laughs> worldwide. I know thou works, the tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Mm -hmm. And are not, but are the synagogue or the assembly, the church of Satan. Mm -hmm. I don't have to say it, <laughs> but I will. <laughs> Go ahead and say it, Pastor. Yeah. Who is right today that are called Jews and are not? That's right. <laughs> right. That's right. How much he has done told you? He's telling us today they ain't the people. They ain't the people. We the people. We the people. They don't call themselves Israelites. No. They don't call themselves Hebrews. No. They don't call themselves Yehuda. No. They don't mention tribe of Judah. They don't mention Benjamin. None of none of that. That's right. Uh-uh. They don't. Never have. That's right. Never have. They only call themselves Jewish. Jewish. Yeah. That's it. Or Israelis. Or Israelis. Israelis. Yes. That's it. Judaism. Mm -hmm. He's telling us they are the synagogue of Satan. That's right. <laughs> but people still believe that they are the people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, even themselves, they know they're not they're not the chosen. They know it. But they keeping the benefits. They want to reap the benefits. The synagogue of Satan. Mm -hmm. Why? Being deceitful. They hold a, a gay parade every year. In our land. Mm -hmm. The biggest festival of parade in the world. Every year. Shall, shall suffer. Y'all hear that? Yes. Fear none of those things when thou shalt suffer. Because, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. 
are all is, is them Jewish people calves being calves in the prison? No. 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 Our people are. We are. We have always been thrown in the prison. Yes. <clears throat> By little simple stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow. You sum into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Ten days? Mm -hmm. I believe you're talking about future prayer. Future yeah. and not doing this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the He said tribulation ten days. Those are key words that you know when he's who he's talking about and when he's when he, when it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Ten days. Watch this. Uh, of ten days, be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee what? Crown of life. A crown of life. Yes. He's talking about future time. Yes. We gotta be, but we got to be strong. Mm. Yes. 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 <laughs> Faithful unto death. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to give you a crown, wouldn't you speak in that speech that's talking about a, a like a human mm -hmm. or someone fleshly? A fleshly being. Because mm -hmm. I'm going somewhere with this. Once it, I hope we get to it. We're going to find out. It's not what you think. I mean, it, it's going to be other scriptures we're going to go to. And it's not what you think it's going to be. Because of the crown of life. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Let's keep going. Verse 11. He that has an ear, let him hear. What the Spirit said unto the churches, he that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Oh, praise. What is the second death? Mm. Yeah. Y'all remember? That's the fire, the, the, the uh, fire. Let's Let go fire. there. Revelation 20, 14. What is the second death? <laughs> you want to be part of the second death. Oh, he said that's why you got to overcome every obstacle. Everything man made. I'd rather be the most high than me. That's right. Everybody have it? Revelation 21 and 14, it says, and Then death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Mm -hmm. That's what we, this is what we try to overcome. Because I want to be part of the second death. No. I want to be part of the first resurrection. Yes. Okay, what was the other one? Um, 21 and 8. Let's start at 7. 21 and 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his, his uh, um, Allah, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable, the murderers, the whoremongers, the sorcerers, and adulterers, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burned with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Mm -hmm. mm. These are the dogs. Let's go back. Revelation chapter 2 and verse number 12. Number 3. Pergamos. Pergamos. <coughs> right now we're at Pergamos. Mm -hmm. Right 
satellite height or elevation. Height or elevation. G dash forty ten. G dash forty ten. Where is Pergamus? Asia Minor. <laughs> City of Asia Minor. <laughs> <coughs> Keep y'all on your toes. <laughs> okay. Start at verse 13. Revelation 2 and 13. Because I'm showing y'all every church, which are the seven candlesticks, he's telling us everything that's concerning Israel. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. I know thy works. And where thou dwell. He said, I know thy works, and I know where you dwell. Mm -hmm. Even where Satan's seat is. Yes, sir. And thou holdest fast my name. And hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein um, Antipas was my faithful martyr. That's another key word you need to underline is martyr. Also, who was slain among you? Right? The underlined two, which was slain among you. Were Satan dwellers. But I have a few things against it. He said, you know what? The Messiah said, I I'm telling you about the good things. But now there's some things I have against you. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there of their them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast stumbling blocks before who? The children of Israel. The children of Israel. <laughs> this is all he's all really talking about. Mm -hmm. You cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel. To eat things sacrificed unto idols and to what? Submit fornication. Submit fornication. Here, 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 here he says it again. Commit fornication. And y'all know the story of Balak and Balaam. Mm -hmm. He tried right? to get the children of Israel cursed. He told them he couldn't curse them, God bless them. Exactly. Right. Y'all know the story. So, so has that also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which things I hate. He said, I hate that doctrine. Y'all yeah, yeah. trying to hold the doctrine of it. He said, I hate it. Same as today. Mm -hmm. They hold this Christianity doctrine, which he hates. Yes. Why? Because he called them dogs. Yes. The Romans. <laughs> The Roman Catholic system. And they are declared to be the, the world's best, one of the one of the world's best religions of the world. Mm -hmm. Which is Christianity. They're still up up to the same thing two thousand plus years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They still doing the same thing. That's right. Because every most almost the every church on every corner, every state that we live in, they are part of the Roman Catholic doctrine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I said two Shabbats ago, you go to any church, it's set up just like the Roman Catholic system. Yeah, that's right. Sure is. Yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere. No matter what church you go into. That's right. right. Even yeah. Pentecostal. Yeah. Yep. They set up exactly like the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. Let's keep going. So has thou also them that hold the doctrine of Nicolaitan, which thing I hate. Repent. He continues to say, repent. Mm -hmm. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and will fight against them 
with the sword of my mouth. Mm -hmm. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saying to the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give him what? To eat of the hidden matter. To eat of the hidden matter. That's Israel. No other nation will fed, will fed manna. That's right. Amen. Right. <coughs> Only Israel. Yes. Right. Yes. Only Israel. So I'm showing you these seven churches. He's talking about Israel. Exactly. He's not talking about no other nation. <laughs> because this book was supposed to be given to the seven churches. Yes. Which is all Israel. Yes. And we give him a white stone. And in the stone a new name written, which no man know of saving he that received it. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yes, sir. Wow. Let's go to the next one. Thyatira. Right down Thyatira, this is number four. This is the first church, the fourth church. Thyatira. The definition is odor of affliction. I do not know what that means. Odor. Odor. Like you have an odor. Odor. Okay. Odor. 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 Like a smell. Yes. Like a smell. Odor. Yeah. Odor. 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 Odor of affliction. It don't sound good. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> That's all I know. I don't know what it means. But it don't sound good. No. Mm. Odor of affliction. I, I, I can speculate what it means. But I don't know. Mm. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, G-23 is 63. Oh, man. Where's the Aratira? Age of mine. <laughs> you gonna trick the one. A city of age of mine. Mm -hmm. Now, now Thyatira is written. Let's go there. Let's go to Acts 16. Hold your finger in Revelation. Go to Acts 16. 14 through 15. Acts 16, 14, and 15. Everybody have it? Yep. And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple of the city of Thyatira, with worship, which worshiped the Most High, heard us, whose heart the Most High opened, that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul, Excuse me. And when she had, and she, and when she was baptized, and her household, she besought us, saying, "If ye have judged me to be faithful to the Most High, come into my house and abide there." And she, and she constrained us. Hmm. And that's the only, that's the only place that you see that you read about about Thyatira that's talking about this lady. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back. Okay, we're going to start at verse 18. Revelation 2 and 18. Okay, it says, And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira, write, These things saith the Son of 
of the Most High, who has his eyes like unto a flame of fire, mm. and his feet are like fine brass. Fine brass. Yeah, he was rough. He was rough. He was. And I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Mm -hmm. Now we're saying that I have a few things against you. <laughs> Christ I'm going to say, I'm going to build you up. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to tear you down. Now I appreciate all the other things you're doing. But let's tackle what I see that's wrong. Mm -hmm. Because thou suffered that woman Jezebel which called herself a prophetess to teach and to, to, to seduce my servants to commit fornication. We're going to see this a lot. To yes. commit fornication. And to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Mm -hmm. He said the same thing. Commit fornication and be seduced to eat things sacrificed unto idols. I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Mm. Behold, I will cast her into a bed. Watch this. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. Mm. That's why he tells our people to come oh, man, out heard. from among her, yes. my people. Yes. That's right. He said, except they repent of their deed. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he that searches the rain and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Wow. But unto you I say, and unto the rest of thy retira, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depth of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden, hmm. but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. See, this is how you know we're talking about future. Yes. He said, till I come. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, he shall, to him have I give power over the nations. Yes. And that's what he's going to do. The scripture says that we're going to be a kingdom and we're going to be up above every kingdom. Yes. All. All of them. That's right. It's not going to be, it's going to be one kingdom. And that's going to be Israel. That's right. It says, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. <laughs> As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. Mm. And I will give him the morning star. Mm. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Yes. Okay, let's let's go to the next one. The next one is Sardis. Right down to number five is Sardis. Sardis means red one. <laughs> red ones. Red ones. Oh, tell me, red woman. <laughs> Wonder why they call red ones. Oh, I think about Native Americans when they say red ones. <laughs> Don't know. Don't know. It says it's a luxurious city in Asia Minor. Luxurious. D 
decked out, beautiful. All the other ain't called that. But in Sardis, they got it together. Beautiful. The capital of Lydia. You write that down. The capital of Lydia. Can anybody have that? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep that next, next reading. Uh, chapter 3, start at verse number 1. Sardis. And unto the angel of the church of Sardis, write, These things saith he that have the seven spirits of the Most High, and the seven stars. Y'all know who the seven stars is, right? Seven angels. Seven angels. I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou that thou liveth and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before the Most High. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Mm -hmm. Whew. That'd be ready. <laughs> That's what exactly what he's saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You better be ready. That's right. Because you don't know. That's right. Mm -hmm. Verse 4 Thou has a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garment. What? He said they that have not defiled their garments. Mm -hmm. So what we gotta understand what do that mean? Yeah. What garments are they talking about? White robes. <laughs> Your robes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But he's speaking of white garments when it's not even time yet. So so really, what is he saying? Mm. You have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white. Yes. He's speaking of future events, yes. future time. You shall walk with me in white. Why? The next verse, what it says. For they are worthy. For they are worthy. Yes. All mm -hmm. praises. Hallelujah. Want to be found worthy. We're going to find out who it's talking about. We're going to find out it's a certain people that actually get the white garments. All right. And it's not every nation. Mm -hmm. We're going to find that out. Here it is. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I would not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I would confess his name before my father and before his angels. Mm -hmm. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. He said the same thing to us today. Mm -hmm. Right? We got we got, we got to press our way to the white raiment, y'all. Oh yeah. yeah, to be clothed in white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. And it, it goes to show me that we went to a conference in uh, in Charlotte with Benny Benny uh, Hen yeah. coming out. He's coming out all in white, just like oh yeah, yeah. yeah he talking about you. Yeah. That's right. Just because you weren't a white suit don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. That's the honest truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, that he ain't talking about you, man. That was a joke. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. We're going to find out mm -hmm. who wore the white garment. 
Let's keep going. Next up, what's next? Um, Philadelphia. Number six is Philadelphia. Philadelphia means brotherly love. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they use that term today? Yeah, that's what they call it. Yeah. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yeah. 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 And all that murder going on. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Wow, but well, you know where they got it from. Yeah, the scriptures. G dash 53 and 59. 53 and 59. Where is Philadelphia? Can't you <laughs> All right. That's the yarn. I'm going to never forget that. No. Church in Philadelphia, right? These these things said, He that is holy, he that is true, he that have the key of David, he that opened and no man shut him, and shut him and no man opened him. Mm -hmm. He's just telling you, I have the keys. Right. Mm -hmm. And I ain't have to go to quote unquote hill to get the keys to take them from <laughs> Hasatan or Satan. Right. No. He said, I know thy works, but oh, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. Mm -hmm. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and has not de de have not denied my name. Mm -hmm. But oh, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Mm -hmm. And to know that I have loved thee. Mm -hmm. Not the ones he said he's going to come and worship at your feet. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> he's talking about Philadelphia. He's talking about Israel. Mm -hmm. He said, but those that, that make them alive and say they are Jews, which everybody knows who they are. That's right. He said, I'm going to make them come and worship at your feet. Yes. Because look what they're doing. They're trying to kick out the original Israelite out of the land. Mm -hmm. One time they offered them $3,500 a piece to, to get them out of the land. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Underline Isaiah 49 and 23. We're not going to go there because of time. Isaiah 49 and 23. That's one of the precepts. Okay. Right there, verse 9. But it's, going to, it's talking about those that's going to bow down, you know, to Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word, word of my patience. I also would keep thee from the hour of temptation. Yeah. He's talking about future time. Yes. From an hour of tem temptation. It's not going to take him long when he could come and do what he got to do. That's right. <laughs> it ain't going to take him long. Because he already know he ain't going to do. Yes, he does. You're right. He said, but I'm going to keep you from that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Which shall come upon where? The world. <laughs> All the world. Yes. I think somebody asked that a couple of staff ago about will it will it short all the world? Mm, Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Mm. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast with thy hand that no man do what? Take thy crown. Take thy crown. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. No man. Don't let none of them take thy crown. 
it belongs to you. Mm. Don't let them. Let's keep going. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my Allah Hayyam. Mm -hmm. He talking about future. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my Allah Hayyam. Mm -hmm. And the name of the city of my Allah Hayyam. He talking about future. Yes. Which is what? New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem. Which cometh down out of heaven from my Allah. Hayim. And I will write upon him my new name. Yes. That's why I say, you know what? Let's not fight about how much she our real name is. Amen. That's right. You have, have a new name. Amen. Because Amen. you know that the other nations messed it up. Yes. And our people they fight no. Uh, no need. There's no need. That's right. That's the truth. Okay. Let's keep going. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the church. Is the last one. Laodicean. Write down Laodicean. Number seven. Last church. Everybody got that? Uh -huh. Come from G-2994. G-2994. It's an inhabitant of Laodicea. Laodicea. You repeat that, my hands stop working. G29. G29.94. Okay. An inhabitant of Laodicea. Verse 14. And unto the angel of the church of Laodiceans, write, These things saith, saith Amon, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of Allah. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot, or well, I wish that you was cold. I wish that you would hot. That's right. Yes. 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 So then, so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. He don't like you to be real lukewarm. No, he doesn't. Get out of your fit, put in the truth, and you put it somewhere else. That's right. No. Not of us like this. One way or the other. Mm -hmm. You lukewarm. Okay. He said, I'll spill you out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Because thou said, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. And know of not that thou art wretched. <laughs> you know that word. Thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't see it. Can't see it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Man. I always call him wretched. <laughs> I'm a see I call him wretched. Man. Man. And what do I, the, of women today, what they call themselves? They say ratchet. Ratchet. Yeah, ratchet. Ain't worth a burn. Yes. 
Now we use that word like it's a good thing. Okay. Yes, I'm ratchet. Yeah. They tell it on themselves. He's, he's telling you who Israel is. You don't saw, see all them other nations talking about being somebody being ratchet? No, no, no. We the ones doing that. Yes. Like, like the lady on that uh, Popeye's commercial, I forget her name, uh, with the hottie sauce. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and the, what she's saying during the song, and, and, and it makes it glamorous to the young folk. Mm -hmm. But it's awful to look at. Yeah. You said something about the thought or something? Yeah, hands on my knees, something on my thought. Yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> terrible. That's yeah. ratchet. You saw a Popeye's chicken commercial. Yeah. And that's ratchet. Yeah. That's ratchet. They make it like a good thing and it's terrible. Wow. He said you think you got it all, but you ain't got nothing. That's right. You say you don't in need of nothing. But you're ratchet, you're miserable, you're poor, you're blind, and, and you're naked. Dang. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou may be rich and white raiment, <clears throat> that thou may be clothed, <clears throat> and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thy eyes with eye salve. I forgot what eye salve is. Cream. That thou may see. That what it is, cream. As many as I love, I rebuke and chastise and chasten. Be jealous, therefore, therefore, and repent. Yes. He's like you said, I'm telling you repent because I love you. Yes, he's still giving them chance. He said, I want you to make. I want you to be with me. So he's just saying repent. That's all I can tell you right now. Yes. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him, sup with him, and he with me. Yes. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Yes. Yes. Even as I also overcame. So he's saying you don't have no excuse to overcome because I overcame. Amen. That's right. Scripture says he was attempted in all manner of sin just like we were. Mm -hmm. But yet he overcame. Mm -hmm. To him that overcome will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also became and am set down with my father in his throne. Yeah. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the, the church. churches. Yes, yes. Wow. So the first one we're trying to get to, the first outline we got to read up on it, and we got to get some understanding of it. Mm -hmm. Let's keep reading. After this, I, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, mm -hmm. which said, come up hither. We're going to see that same speech later on in Scripture. Okay. Where it says, come up hither. Mm -hmm. And I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne and sight like unto an emerald. Mm -hmm. Now here it is. This is one of the things, uh, one of the deep revelations that we got to understand. What does this mean? All right. Verse 4, and we'll come back to verse 4 and another part as well to compare the two to, to try to find this thing out. Verse 4, and four and round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I, I saw four 
um, saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment and white raiment and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Mm. Y'all hear that? Yes. Remember I told y'all about the crowns? Mm -hmm. So where, where were these uh, it says four and twenty seats. How many How many seats are there? Twenty-four. They had twenty-four. Okay, I can't get that. Because you would read it and think it says forty-two. Because it says four and twenty seats. Yes. But it's backwards. It's twenty-four seats. Yes. Right? Right. So what can we know about these these 24 seats and those that sit upon these 24 seats. Well, what, what do we know about them? They sat on the thrones. Mm -hmm. They dressed in white robes. Yes. And white, right? Yes. And it was crowned of, well, they were crowned with gold. Mm -hmm. Now, these, these are not angels. That's right. These are elders. But these elders are not angels. Or they, and they are not the beasts. The four beasts. So the question is, well, who are these 24 that sat upon the throne? That he saw? And this happened before the seals. Or did John see something ahead of time before the seals? Who knows? It's a good question. It is. Right? Yes. <laughs> so let's let's see what they was doing. Go to um, um, chapter four. Let's get to verse number nine. Get to verse number nine. <laughs> Everybody there? Mm -hmm. And when did when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who lived forever, and the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that live forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Most High, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. Mm -hmm. So what were these 24 elders doing? Worshiping the Most High. Worship and praising the Most High. And what else were they doing? Cast their crowns before. Casting their crowns before. I believe this is what? Um, either Muhammad Shia or the Most High. Mm. But they were casting their crowns before him. This is the, this is what they did. Mm -hmm. That's all they did. Their job. They glorified the Most High, yeah. Muhammad Shia, and they took off their crowns and they threw it in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is worthy of all praise. Yes, he is. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So the question is, I wrote, who are these 24 elders? We got to find out who they are. Who are these 24 elders? Because the seals have not started. The seals don't start until chapters, uh, chapter 6. But he's already talking about these 24 elders, the four beasts. We know who the four beasts. We don't have to go there because they are the cherubims, mm -hmm. which had the four faces. Right. Those were the four cherubims. And you don't want to mess with them. No. You don't want to come in contact with the four cherubims. Mm. Right? Right. Say they have our eyes all over. They, are, they have wings and they only can move forward. What does that mean? That whatever, whatever they need to conquer. It's going to get conquered. It says they never move backwards. <laughs> These are the wheel in the middle of the wheel. These are the four 
Chair. Okay. To sit on, wrote down, to sit on the throne, to sit on the throne is a seat of power and authority. In the Bible, one of, uh, one, one can think that, that we are told is that we will reign with Hamashiach. Ephesians even mentioned that we are seated with him in heavenly places. These 24 elders are a reference to the church. Go to Ephesians 2 and 6. We get through this outline, we'll close it out. Now we're starting to get into the meat of understanding what's really going on. Ephesians 2 and 6. If I have it, mm -hmm. Ephesians 2 and 6, it says, and has raised us up together. Those are key words we need to identify. Yes. Raise us up together. And made us sit together in heavenly places mm -hmm. in Yeshua HaMashiach. Watch this. Go to Ephesians 3 and 10. I told you what the reference of the church. Go to Ephesians 3 and 10. Everybody there? Mm -hmm. It says, To the intent that now unto the principalities, what principality means the beginning, origin in a series. Or played out. And a lot of times we hear principalities, we're talking about principalities and rules in dark places, you know, things like that. It means that too. But sometimes you got to read other words in the right context. This principality is talking about something else. It's talking about something like a series, something that needs to be played out. Yes. Right? Right. Because when we sit in the heavenly places, we're going to see all this played out. Mm hmm. <laughs> right? Because they're not going to affect us. Why? Because 10,000 is going to fall by our right hand, but it's not going to come. It's not going to harm us. Mm. We're, going to feel, we're going to see people fall dead right beside us and they ain't going to touch us. Mm. Mm. According to Psalms 91. Yeah. Yeah. 10,000 will fall on our right hand. Mm hmm. Okay, and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church, the manifold wisdom of the Most High. It shall be known by who? The church. church. By the church. Who the church? We. The saints. He said this will be known by us. We're going to see the series. This is going to be played out, and we're going to know about it. Wow. I wrote down more uh, specifically the overcoming. Then we talk about overcoming. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say I'm talking about overcome. Vi uh, uh, victorious. And first resurrection. Because these things are playing out during the great tribulation. Which is Revelation 3 um, and 21. Let's go back there. Revelation 3 and 21. Revelation 3 and 21. This is what he's talking about. Everybody have it? Uh -huh. 3 and 21. To him that overcome will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Mm -hmm. But it's not talking about all of us. It's a it is a, it a selected few that's going to sit upon these twenty four thrones. And this is what Revelator John the Revelator saw. He saw the seats. 
and he saw the people that were sitting in them. And they was, they was in white robes, and they had crowns on their heads. Right? Uh, number one, they were dressed in white. Let's go back to Revelation chapter 3, 4 through 5, which we done, we done talked about. Everybody there? Mm -hmm. Revelation 3, 4 and 5. Thou has a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Mm -hmm. He said, they shall walk with me in white. Verse 5, he that overcome the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out, blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Now, it did not say that these angels, there's not, no one script to say angels sit on thrones. No. no. Angels do wear white, but they do not wear the white of the blood of the Lamb. Right. Mm. That's right. Because he died for Israel. Yes. And not for the angels and all the heavenly beings. Right, right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Wearing crowns of gold. We're about to get through it. Go to Zechariah. Crowns of gold. Go to Zechariah chapter 6. About the end. Zechariah chapter 6. Who are these people? It's not no other nation that sit on this throne. Everybody there? Zechariah chapter 6. He said, I was turned, and I turned and lifted up my eyes, and looked, and behold, there came four chariots out from between the two mountains, and the mountains were mountains of brass. Now, I'm about talking about the four horsemen, which is recorded in the Revelation, what we're going to get to. In the first chariot were red horses, <clears throat> and in the second chariot, black horses, and in the third chair, white horses. And in the fourth chair, uh, gristle and bay horses. Mm. Y'all see, um, y'all see the precept there. What is it? Revelation six and two. Revelation six two. That's when it's talking about the four horses, the four horsemen. Mm -hmm. Okay, we we'll get we'll start that next. Um, no, we no, not next about but about after that. Then I answered and said unto the angel that talked with me, What are these, my master? And the angel answered and said unto me, These are the four spirits of the heavens, which go forth from standing before the most high of all the earth. I'm talking about the black horse and all that. Let's, let's go down um, to verse number um, 11. Then take silver and gold and make crowns, Set them upon the heads of Joshua, the son of um, 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 Josedek, Joseph. Joseph the high priest, and speak unto them, saying, Thus speaketh the Most High of hosts, saying, Behold, the man whose name is the branch. Who was that? Yeshia. Yeshia Mashiach, whose name is the branch. And he shall grow up out of his place, and he, will, and he shall build the temple of the Most High. Even he shall build the temple of the Most High, and he shall bear the glory, and shall sit and rule upon his throne. And he shall be a priest unto his throne. And the council of peace shall be between them both. Wow. I went to 15, but um, let's keep going. And let's keep going. And the crown shall be to um, Helam and to um, Antabajah and to Jediah um, um, 
and to him the sons of, of, of Zephaniah for the memorial of the temple of the Most High. So he said, these, these people have to cry. Mm -hmm. They have cry. And they, and they that are far off shall come and build in the temple of the Most High, and ye shall know that the Most High of hosts has sent me unto you, and this shall come to pass, if ye with diligently obey the voice of the Most High, your Allah mm High. -hmm. Okay? So I'm just showing you that these crowns that was made, it was for the priests, or it could be a symbolic of the priestly crown. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we show. I'm just showing you, you know, a thing about the crown because these 24 elders, they are sitting there, clothed in white, and they have crown. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm a shout to be clothed in white as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're talking about the number 24. Go to First Chronicles. We're not going to read all of it. Go to First Chronicles 24. First Chronicles chapter 24. Now, really understanding who these 24 elders are, we really, we really don't know. We really don't know. But it's not a lot of places to understand, you know, as far as what the 24, the number 24 represent. Okay, uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 24. I'm going to read several places. Now watch this. Verse 1. Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron. Who are the sons of Aaron? Levites. The Levites or the priests. We just read about the priests. But I'm going to show you that it's speaking of these 24, but at the same time, it really doesn't line up. We're going to find that out real late, okay? So, it talking about the sons of Aaron. So, let's skip down to uh, um, verse number 7. Verse 7 is talking about now the first. Not going to read it all, so let's go all the way down to verse 18. Verse 18, the 3 and the 20th to Deliah and the 4 and 20th to Messiah. So it's telling you he named all 24 of these people. Y'all get it now? Yes. It's telling these all 24, they all are Levites. Okay. And like I said before, a lot of people, when you research this, a lot of people will bring you to 1 first, first Chronicles 24 and skip over to chapter 25. And look at verse number 1. Moreover, David, the captains of the host, separated. Everybody there? Mm -hmm. What's that? Chapter 25, 1 Chronicles 25. Moreover, David, the captains of the host, separated to the service of the sons of Asaph and of him um, and of um, Jedathan, who, who, who should prophesy, who should prophesy with harps, with solderies, and with cymbals, and the number of the workmen according to their service was. Okay, so these servants, they played music. And they, these, uh, these 24 elders, they're going to be singing, and they're going to be playing harps. So a lot of people, if you were, I'm just saying, if you were to Google this information, it would take you to these two chapters. To 1 Chronicles 24 and 1 Chronicles 25. Because they, they kind of see what he said that these 24, these are the 24s, the 24 that's going to be sitting on these thrones. Mm -hmm. But we got to go to a promise that Hamashiach made to the disciples. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it, 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 it's, it's like you, 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 really, you really just don't know. 
Okay? Okay, let's keep going. It's possible that the 24 elders was a symbol then of what was to come. When we read the opening chapter of Revelation, notice how John the Revelator described us as kings, as king slash kingdom and priests. Okay, Revel, let's go back to Revelation chapter 5. Just trying to get through this outline, y'all. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. Revelation chapter 5. We won't be much longer. Revelation chapter 5. We're still talking about the 24 elders. Revelation chapter 5. Everybody there? Yeah. Revelation 5, it started 1. And I saw on the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side still with the seven seals. I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seal thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look their own. Mm. Did y'all catch something there? Mm. It says, and no man in heaven. <laughs> Nor in earth, neither under earth, was able to open the book, neither uh, neither to look to look thereon. Remember, I told y'all talking about this happened before the opening of the seals. Yeah, because of, and uh, it, there's nobody, no man is in heaven at all. At, you know, as, as of now. Exactly. But at, after afterwards, you know, we're talking about the elders, twenty four <laughs> elders. There's some men there then, but as now. Exactly. But the thing is, who are they? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> Say, I'm the head man. You there, man. <laughs> Say, I'm like, get to it. Just, just get to the meat. <laughs> get to the meat, man. <laughs> hey, I don't mind y'all to Google something. Let's go find out. Neither look upon their own. <laughs> he was smiling. <laughs> and I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book. Neither to look their own. You're not he wasn't even worthy to even look at. <laughs> and one of the elders. Y'all see that? Yes. One of the elders said unto me. Wait a minute. One of the elders said unto me. Uh -huh. So that means that was there. Yes. Before the opening of the seal. But this is not the first resurrection yet. Mm. So it has to make you think what's going on here. In the spiritual realm. <laughs> in the spiritual realm. Nobody's been resurrected yet. Mm. Said no man has been to heaven. To him that came down from him. So could it have been just talking ahead of his time? In the end of the vision, you know? Exactly. Yes. Let's keep going. And one of the elders said unto me, meaning that one of the elders, one of the 24 elders, we not behold the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to loosen the seven seals thereof. Mm -hmm. Would you precept back to Hebrews 7 and 14? Which we all know what that scripture is. Talking about he that came out of the tribe of Judah. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb 
as it has been slain. So wait a minute, now these 40, 24 elders are with the Lamb. Mm -hmm. That was slain. Y'all see that? Yes. Having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the Most High, sent forth into all the all the earth. Mm -hmm. I'm just showing you that these twenty these twenty four elders, they was with him. Mm -hmm. They was with Hamashiach, and I'm gonna show you because there was only one group that went up first. It was only one group that went up first. And then he said, uh, those that are dead in Christ arise and those that were alive and remain should be with him in the air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to find out how that happened. Because it was some, there was some people that went up before everybody else went up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm excited about it. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> and he came and took the book out of, out of the right hand of him that sat on the throne. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. And y'all know where it is. Oh, yeah. And when he had taken the book, the 24, I mean, the, the four beasts and the four and 20 elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them, what did they have? Hearts. They had the hearts. Golden and golden vows full of odors. Remember y'all seen that? Mm -hmm. It's talking about the odors of um, um, affliction. affliction. Full of odors, which are the prayers of, the of who? The saints. Wait a minute. So, uh, the prayers of the saints. Where are all the other nations' prayers? That's right. If they're only collecting the prayers of the saints, mm. what are the other prayers? Mm. Kind of make you think, right? Yes. Oh, much. <laughs> Watch this. And they sung a new song. Who sung a new song? Yes. The angels. Uh-uh. The 24. The 24 elders. They sung a new song. Mm -hmm. Saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seal thereof, for thou wast slain and has redeemed us to the most high by thy blood. Wait a minute. That's, that's so right. this is not talking about angels. He said, You have redeemed us by your blood. Yeah. So these were Israelites that was actually on the land. Yeah. Angels, angels didn't need redeemed. They didn't need to be redeemed. All right. Amen. So now it's starting to get a little deep, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> About who these 24 elders are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> he said, redeem us to the most high <clears throat> by thy blood out of every kindred. Y'all look up the word kindred. That the word kindred. Tell me what the first word you see. Look at the first word that you see. Out of every kindred. What does it say? Revelation 5 and 9. Look at the word kindred. One's family is one word right be before that. Try. 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 Go down, scroll down, look at how many times the word tribe is used. 25, 25 times. And what's the other one? Kindred. How many times? Six times. Six times. So this word kindred is talking about really tribe. Yeah. It says redeemed us work out of every kindred of every tribe. Out of the tongue and people and the nation. That's right. Out of it saved us from. Out them. of it. Yeah. So these twenty-four elders, they are up out of every tribe. Yeah. Yeah. Say I'm trying to spoil it. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Say, I'm trying to spoil it for <laughs> but, but you know, Pastor, people will read that and think that he's saying, you know, he redeemed us when they say out of, like I'm getting them out of this, you know, like every, per all the nations of the earth, but he's saying. No, it's not. He's getting us out of all the nations of us. All the nations. Yes. All the, all the nations all part of a different tongue and right. a people and of a nation. Right. It don't include them. It's taking us from them. Exactly. These come out to 24 elders. Mm -hmm. And we're going to find out when we precept this that this is going to come out some other people as well. He did the same thing for them as well. Okay. Verse 10. And has made us unto our our, 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 our kings and priests and we shall reign where? On the, on the earth. On the earth. Wait a minute. These 24 elders going to reign on the earth? Mm. Yeah. When they sitting on the throne? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what did they tell you? <laughs> They're part of Israel. That's right. He said if we will show reign on the earth. Okay. <laughs> Y'all getting quiet. Listen, you go back to Revelation 1 and 6. We're we about to close there, y'all. Bear with me. 1, chapter 1, 4 through 6. Watch this. Let's John spoke to this in the beginning. Revelation 1, let's start at verse number 4. Everybody there? Amen. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. Before his throne. Mm -hmm. And from Yeshua Hamashiach, who is the faithful witness, and to the first begotten of the dead, the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Mm -hmm. That kindred blood. Mm -hmm. And has made us kings and priests unto the Most High and his Father. And to him be glory to me forever and ever. Amen. He said the same thing about being kings and priests. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go back to Revelation 5 and 9. Watch this, Revelation 5 and 9. So what So what did these 24 elders do? They sung, yeah. they sung a new song. What else? They had, the, they had the golden vials full of odors. The bread of the saints. They put the crowns at his feet. Uh-huh. Keep going down verse 9. They sung a new song. What happened to them? They was redeemed. Mm, yes, out of, they, yes. Out of every kindred tongue and people in nature. Mm -hmm. Now, those that have the same Bible, look what the last precept is. What is that? What, Revelation uh, 14 and 3. Revelation 14 and 3. Watch this. Now go to Revelation 14 and number 3. Everybody there? Mm -hmm. Don't read the head now. <laughs> Don't read the head. Let's get it together. Everybody there? Look <laughs> 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 Huh? Get now. Revelation 14 and 3. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says, And they sung as it were a new song before the throne. So who was singing a new throne song before the throne? The 24, the 24 elders. elders. Watch this. And before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but who? The 144,000. What happened to them? Which were redeemed from the earth. They were redeemed from the earth. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> so where did he want 144,000 in? All over the world. According to the scripts. Look what it says. What were they doing this in? Do it again. Then I heard a voice from heaven. From four, Revelation 14 and 3. Then where were they at? Before the throne. Before the throne. Who was before the throne? The 144,000. And who else? And who else? And the four beasts. And the four beasts. They was there. And you ask yourself, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. They was there? This is the same time when before they opened up the seals. Yeah. <laughs> you see how things you have to read things. And because everything is not put in sequence as you read it. Mm -hmm. You got to figure out because these this group had to have been come had to have been redeemed first. Right. right. And we're gonna find out what else they did. <laughs> you got your wheels turning. Yeah. And that's what I want. That's what I want. They try to find out well, what's going on here. I'm showing, we're showing you that everything will happen in the same manner as you read it. Mm -hmm. Something had to take place first mm -hmm. before everything else were to happen. Mm -hmm. right. Why? Because we got to understand the word first fruits. Okay, most important. Right? Yeah. Look at verse number four. We'll come back to this. Revelation 14 and 4. Everybody there? Yes. Uh -huh. They were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. We're going to talk about that later too. They are they which followed the Lamb wherever he goes. They was up there where the Lamb was. These were redeemed from among men, being what? The first fruits. The uh, yeah. first fruits unto the Most High yeah. and to the Lamb. They were the first fruits. <laughs> they were the first fruits. Wow. Y'all trying to get through this. Good luck, guys. I got two more. Watch this. Could it be that the 24 elders represent the 12 tribes of Israel? Yes. yes. And the 12 disciples? Yes. Covenant review, covenant slash renew covenant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Matthew 19. Matthew 19. <laughs> Did I, after a while, I want to tell you something up for Matthew 19. And. Um, 28. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and 28. So you remember we went to 1 Chronicles 24, 1 Chronicles chapter 25. Mm -hmm. They're talking about the 24 priests that was of uh, Abraham, right? Yes. Which are the Levites. Matthew 19, 28. Everybody there? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, 28. And Yeshua said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit <coughs> in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Oh, yes. So there was 24 thrones, so we know. Twelve of them already been taken. And now he's talking right. to the disciples. Yeah. yeah. That that's the twelve throne. Yes. So that leaves what? Twelve more thrones. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Right? So they have a spot on the throne. Yeah. Right. You can't dispute that. Right, man. They have their spot. Twenty-four thrones. They all have twelve of them and they've been filled up. Yes. Right. Poor Judas, he could have made it, but he did. <laughs> Huh? 
Because they elected somebody else. Yeah, yeah. Matthias. Yeah, Matthias. Yeah. They, they chose Matthias. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, we can pre precept that to Luke 22 and 30. Luke 22 and 30. I hope I ain't going too fast for you. Luke 22 and verse number 30. at my table in my kingdom and sit on throne judgments well tried of Israel. Just showing you who he's talking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So watch this. Now we done got 12 of them. Watch this. Go to Genesis 49. Go to Genesis 49. We got to put somebody else on the throne. Alright. I ain't gonna tell you what verse it is yet, because I don't want y'all to read. <laughs> I, I know y'all, I know y'all. Genesis 49. Everybody say, I have it. <laughs> Let's look at verse. Everybody got it. Oh, man. Nobody trying to be like, I ain't got it, you got it. Go to verse 16. Let's see who else is going to be on the throne. All praise. Genesis 49, 16. Are y'all there? Uh -huh. Yes. They shall judge his people as one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Because mm -hmm. y'all know in Revelation, talking about the gates, yes. you know, it's yeah. not mentioned there. Right. Right. Because they are going to be a judge. Right. They are going to be on the throne. That's what's up. Yeah. So by knowing that is, so could it be that he's going to elect one out of every tribe to sit on this way? Mm -hmm. There's 12 of them. Because the 12 more seats left. Amen. Yep. <laughs> yep. Wow. Could it be the old yes. and the renewed? Yes. 12 from the old, 12 from the renewed. Oh, that's awesome. The 12 tribes of Israel yes. and also the 12 apostles. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying it could be. Right? Could it be? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I ain't I saw I'm putting it out there until we go a little further. And we'll put it all together later. <laughs> okay. So let's keep going. Well, next, look up um, on your phone. Look up, even they know this. Look up your phone. Um, um, the meaning of the number 24. Oh, Google it. Yeah, Google the number, the meaning of the number 24. Now how I wrote it down so you can see exactly. And it's a little summary. I always start at the top. The meaning of the number 24. Do anybody have a little summary at the top to tell you what the 24 means? Symbolizes home. Is that right? Health, healing. It's an angel number for love. Yes. Uh, scroll down. Y'all now y'all see the little part that have the little thing like this and you, it, it asks questions and then you can you can hit that. What is the meaning of twenty-four? Spiritually. Spiritually. One hundred and twenty-three, it says being on the end of the corner of the Yeah. It ain't coming up right. No. The number 24 is indicated of a deep cycle of the heart. And I, and I got the number 20, 
rituals associated with the priesthood. Okay. That's why I was telling y'all before mm -hmm. that they, they'd take you back to 1 Chronicles 24 and chapter 24 and chapter 25. Mm -hmm. But y'all y'all see where it asks other questions and it has this symbol, it goes up and down like a like a pyramid. Mm -hmm. and you tap on that. If you see it, uh, let me know what does it what is it asking? Y'all don't see anything? The only thing I seen it was saying there was another one of the priesthood. Okay. Let me see. The biblical meaning of 24. Yeah, so I keep getting. Yeah, let me see your phone. Bring your phone. Okay, now what was that again? Okay. See? <laughs> that, that's what I'm looking for right there. If, if you click on what is the significance of number 24? Yeah. And drop down in Christian, that's what I'm looking for. Yes. In Christianity? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and what else does it say? And the 12 apostles. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm looking for right there. Because see, they, it's like they know this. Yes. Of what they think who these 24 elders are. Mm. So actually they was drawn out of a certain number. Mm -hmm. And they are the ones that's going to be before the throne to throw their crowns at his feet. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you see, we precept that to Revelation 14 and verse number 3 and it's talking about the 144,000 and it said it talked about the 144,000 did the same thing as the 24 elders. Mm -hmm. They sung their new song. Mm -hmm. They were deemed, redeemed from among men. Right? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to find out a little later about the group that they came out of, which we already know. It was of the 144,000. Right. So now we've got to find out what happened to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because if they was redeemed from among men, it means that they were, they have, that they were dead. <laughs> so it's like he took a remnant from out of the first group that was a remnant. Okay. To do certain things, to be the judges of Israel. Okay. <laughs> the remnant from the remnant. Yeah. The 
And the scripture says that. It yeah. says talking about a remnant. Yeah. That was a remnant that was of Israel. Mm-hmm. Watch this. As I wrote down, are these eight, uh, elders angels? I don't think so. Number one, angels are dressed in white, but they are not clothed in harmless here righteousness. His blood. Angels don't sit on thrones, nor, nor reward is the crown of life. Now let's go to the other three places to find out the position of the elders. Three of more scriptures will close out. Revelation 5 and 15, 14. Revelation 5 and 14. Trust me, when we get through all this, you're going to see it very, very clear. Revelation 5 and 14. Just showing you other places where they are doing this. And once you see the other places where they are doing this, then you can start to see um, there are certain things that you will have to consider about who are these people. Revelation 5 and 14, are you there? Yes. And the four be said, our mind, and the four and twenty elders fell down and worshiped him that liveth forever and ever. Go to chapter 7. Chapter 7. Chapter 7 and verse number 11. Everybody there? Mm-hmm. Y'all know what chapter 7 is, right? Yes. That's the 144,000. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the seal, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. So, just think about it. He had to seal them because of the seals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, don't hurt the earth. The, the, the earth don't hurt the earth. The sea, anything else, to these servants of mine, that they are sealed. Mm-hmm. They are part of the being sealed because of the seven seals. Now, when I say thirteen, you no know, left. Seven eleven. Seven eleven. All the angels stood around about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped the Most High. Mm-hmm. Now, this happened this, this happened during the 144,000. Then it's talking about the great multitude. Yes. Because a lot of you look at verse number 9, 79, after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude with no man can number of all nations of kindred and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed what? White. In white robes and palms in their hands. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this, now, now, this is another group of people. Mm-hmm. So it says. One of the elves, let's go down, look at verse 13. <clears throat> look at 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto him, What are these that are arrayed in white robes? Where they come from? <laughs> Where they come from? Mm-hmm. What it says? And said to them, Sir, thou know of me, said unto me, These are they which came out of what? Great tribulation. Great tribulation. We don't read about the seven churches, about their tribulations. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of people look at nine and say, talking about everybody in the world. Mm-hmm. You got to keep reading. He said, well, who are these people? Mm-hmm. He saw these are the ones that came out of the great tribulation. And what? Why they rose? Yes. And what? And why? Mm-hmm. This ain't talking about every nation on the earth. No. He said, these are the ones that came out of the great tribulation. It's talking about Israel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all see it? Yeah. This is what he's talking about. And the elders asked the question. But John the Revelation, John the Revelation said, sir, you already know this. Mm-hmm. You already know who it is. <laughs> it's your own people. Yes. He said, you already know. Now, if, they, if, if it wasn't so, he wouldn't have said, you already know who it is. That's right. So we, we'll close it out right there. I ain't going to go too far with y'all. <laughs> and, you know, one more. 19 and 4. Go to 19 and 4. Last one. They talked about the 24 elders. 
19 and 20 women. No, 19 and 4, excuse me, 19 and 4. Nineteen and four, and the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped the Most High that sat on the throne, saying, "Amen, Amen, Hallelujah." Mm. Okay. So there are things. These these are the things that we need to consider when we're going through this. Because now, now we we about to go into the the the, the juicy part now. Mm -hmm. yeah. These things we got to consider when we're going through this. We got to find out. We found out the twenty four elders. We're going to go to, I think it's chapter 6, where it says that they were slain and they waited for their brother yeah. as they has been slain. Yeah. Yeah. So that means that somebody has already has been up before they waited on their brother to come up that was slain just like them. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we got to focus on the 144,000. Then we got to focus on the two olive trees. And then we just read about the, the multitude, which no man could know. Mm -hmm. And then you get to the first resurrection. So when you begin to combine all of these together and find out who they are, you got you only can determine who they are by the clouds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you're going to find out it's only three sets of people. There's only two sets of people. That uh, with those three sets of people that only wore the white robes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you that it's totally different than what was some of the things we, we thought we knew about. Okay? So we're in it right there. We're in it right there for uh for today. Just drop some nuggets in your spirit. Yeah. You get your wheels turning, yeah. <laughs> but but no one did who the who the first fruit, because everybody's not going. He's not going to uh, bring everybody up in the cloud all at one time. That's what Christianity churches teaches mm -hmm. have taught us, and they are wrong. No, they are called the first fruits for a reason. <laughs> okay. These are a selected people. Right? Mm-hmm. Because Joe Witness said these 144,000, that's how it's going to be. That's it. In, in the, that's the bottom of the ball. Game. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> they have no clue. But knowing who these people are, you know, will it will understand about how this come together because it's only two sets of people. Mm. They came up in the cloud. Then we're gonna find out who they are. Because why? Because why would he elect one hundred forty-four thousand to do what? Just to go wherever he go? No mission at all. This way, you go down the street, they down the street. They go up, they go. He go. He, where where he go, they go. That's it. No. Now it's a purpose for them. That's right. It's a reason for them. And why even they will be clothed in white. Because you only can get your garment by one way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So we're closing right there. We'll pick it back up.